Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Me, William Ramsey HD. Welcome back to my F1 2020 career mode, RAN 10. Today we are at Cir Circuit Paul Ricard and it's the French Grand Prix. Sorry I've been away from the normal, say, videos, guys. I've been really enjoying my streaming and all you guys out there are bloody legends and you're all amazing. But today we've got some Formula 1 content for you guys. We're just... Um, uh, purchased, purchased a fabrication uh, upgrade for our durability uh, tab on the R&D screen basically we'll get the durability upgrades uh, quicker and that will yeah it will be much faster for our upgrades in that um, in that sense so guys as you can see uh, we're chain we changed out the stuff from uh, last race we changed it the race before uh, for no yeah yeah we changed it from last race and we're changing it back to so we don't waste components so we don't get any penalties in the next coming races because uh, the car's coming into its own now like I know we're not on max difficulty but the car's coming into its own and we're starting to make headways into the top the top three so yeah um, it's Q, we're gonna go into Q1 here. I'm not gonna lie at this track. I feel quite confident I've had online races on here, and I feel like um, I'm very very like very good on the brakes. So it feels it feels pretty damn decent As we're coming around second to last turn here get good turning on the last corner here We're coming to the end of Q1 here. We're in P 21 21st place we're gonna come up to the line and we're gonna get P6 I, I really thought the car felt better than that really to be honest we went for at least one or one lap before that this is actually in uh, Q1 again we go for another run because we go down in P15 I know it's wasting another set of tires but I knew there was some more time in this car I knew I could uh, progress the car further into the session as you go up to the line we go 12th it's still slower I guess it's just me trying to feed myself into the into the car really I hadn't like I had this thing where I don't play in a uh, don't play in a while and I don't really I'm not really too consistent consistent and even though I'm live streaming guys I just let you know let you know I will try and maybe get a short uh, if I do a season two do a shorter season two before the end of this game because I have enjoyed this game it's just obviously my streamings blew up and I've loved doing that as well. So we're going to come to the end of our lap in Q2 and we're going to go P3. The car feels much faster here. Q2 we end up, it end up starts raining and we go down the board but we go P9. So we're in Q10. We're in uh, P10 which is decent. We're in Q3 here. As you can see it's piddling down with rain and the car feels lively. I feel like if I press any more down on my throttle pedal, it is going to take off like a jumbo jet 147 jet. It will literally take off into Narnia. So guys, we're coming around to a couple last corners here. Get a good turn in on the right. Set, we'll get a bit of twitch on there. Go around to the left. Make sure I just stay close as I can to T12 hair, hair apex. And we're just gonna we're gonna follow through here, going past the pit exit. Make sure we stay close to the the white line here. Set ourselves up for the right hand. Uh, just touch. Uh, I went a bit too wide there, and DRS is still active here. And as you can see, there's a problem with my engine unit because I've changed it to the what the first component, and we end up P9. As we're gonna go to the race, guys. Back in the late 1800s, we've come a long way since then, and you're about to find out how far. It's time for the French Grand Prix. Six lefts and nine rights give us a total of 15 corners here at the circuit Paul Ricard, and a lap covers an overall distance of 3.6 miles. Average speeds will be somewhere in the region of 142 miles per hour, and they'll be maxing out on the Mistral Straight at around 205 miles per hour.
Also here, of course, is Anthony Davidson. Now, let's talk about Charles Leclerc. Looks like they've got a tough race in store today as grid penalties for changing power unit components has forced them further down the field. But on the bright side, at least those fresh components can help them maintain the power they need to come through the pack. I expect to see them take a more aggressive approach today to make up for the compromised start. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, and it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Vettel, Verstappen, Alexander Albon, and Ricciardo, Sainz, Williams, Perez, and Lance Stroll, Norris, Fiat, Charles Leclerc, they've taken a grid penalty, and Ocon, Giovinazzi, Gasly, Roman Grosjean, and Kimi Raikkonen, Magnussen, Ireland, Russell, and Nicholas Latifi. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? So as we're going to set up the car, guys, we're going to set up the car to go, I'd say, pretty pretty long into the race. And as you can see here, we, uh, we've got, we're have we on the soft tyres, actually getting warming them up pretty damn quick here. We want a really, really good start. We we are overheating these tyres. Like We want a good start. We need some better races if we want to go for this championship as we go to three, four, five red lights for the French Grand Prix. And it's a bit of a long way, and away we go. We get a better second phase of the start. We're gonna go down the outside of Daniel Ricciardo. We're gonna try and slip down the outside of Max Verstappen here. Pop Ranny outside. What a move! And Ranny outside of the McLaren as well. I go off the track over the yellow bumps there, and Verstappen gets straight back past me. I think I've had some damage to the car here because something's wrong. I might have jilted the engine cover here. And I'm slow as anything as we're going to go down the outside to the inside of Alex Albon here and we've lost places guys we are losing places fast and we need to do something about this like it might be because we've put put less fuel in the car but Albon makes a move on us and goes into P7 we're now settling into P8 on lap two. We're gonna go down the inside, try to make a move, or thought much better of it. As Stroll goes down the outside to the inside, we cover him off because he's on the medium tires, he's gonna look better as we go to lap seven of this French Grand Prix, guys. I had an amazing start. I must have hit something on the curb to make the engine go orange because it went straight away as soon as it, as soon as I went off the track on them bumps so they're really unforgiving I didn't feel anything in game because the vibration didn't see anything but I was definitely slower after that we've been saving fuel for the last couple of laps we're gonna strap on a set of the medium set of tires and we're gonna come out dead last pretty much dead last guys uh, Albon's still in front, Perez is in front, he's, I believe he, he might have had an issue at the start of the race and yeah we've just got to put, put the laps in here, I at least want to get top 5 in this race as we're going to make our way past George Russell, Danny inside, not very friendly here to our fellow Brit but we get the move done, very good move there as we come to lap 10 here we're sizing up Sergio Perez for a move, we're going to go along the straight follow his ship slipstream down the inside divebomb.com follow it round the outside there over rotate the car get the move done and that's a very good pass as we're going to come up on our teammate now Callum Eilat he should let us pass we're going to make it a dive bomb quick easy move give him a little love tap to let him know I'm there let him know who's boss as we go to lap 14 guys we have caught up to a pack of cars that have not been in the pits Albon's been in the pits, but the others in front of him haven't. And Albon's on them uh, soft tyres as well, so Verstappen is actually holding them up. I tried to go down the inside, caught my wing there. I believe I actually caught a bit of my wing off. As we're going to go to the a pan shot here, as you can see the damage on our car. We're going to swoop to the inside on the home stretch, knock out the ball out there and get the move done. 
as we're moving on now to the lap after lap 15 Albon's uh, making ground on us I believe Bottas has something wrong with his car so that is why we're coming back into the race guys we're gonna make a size up Bottas in down the inside very nice move there we're literally following uh, Charles Leclerc here every lap we've followed him into the pits and basically react him to what he does because Bottas is not in the lead of the race anymore and maybe we could be in for a possible podium here it depends if we can keep up with Leclerc we literally have to be a B on his ass. we literally have to stay with him that's all that's all we can do guys will we get out in front of him no he just gets out in front it was a 1.8 stop what are the scenes that was amazing I was going to come out the pits we're going to come out in P11 so we're at the points lap 17 we've got some uh, grand to make up and this stink guys I'm just going to let you know now it was pure determination for me because there was something wrong with the engine from lap 1 and literally we was following in the strip slipstream of other cars if we weren't in other cars slipstreams uh, I would be finishing in P11 maybe lower as we're going to size up Giovinazzi here get him down the straight make sure we get that DRS on and we're going to size him up for a move here it's looking good that we could be in the points here guys we're getting ready go down the inside what a move that was and now one lap later we're going to size up Raikkonen we thought about going to the inside but we thought much better of it he gets a bit of a slow exit here and obviously we're going to use DRS to fund the passing as you can see the cars behind us have a lot of a lot of traffic as we're literally following Charles Leclerc through here we're going to go down the inside of Esteban Ocon here we move to two laps later this is in the last lap of the Grand Prix we go down the inside of Charles Leclerc here and we we need to get past Norris as well it's so close I could get a podium here we're going to size him up for a move down the inside here. He was caught napping. And now can we make a move on Stroll in the last lap? Oh, I can't catch him. The engine's had its day. And we're going to come home, guys. It's respectable. It's been a respectable P4. It wasn't too bad at all. I fought so hard in that race. The passing I made was unreal. Driver of the day, Charles Leclerc. I do not agree with that one. I must, I must say. But guys, we we drove our hearts out there, and we should be very proud of what we achieved this race. Like we we've we've had a win and stuff, but we definitely looked like we're we're top notch. Like we we could we could fight for a possible championship, guys. It, it's look it's looking decent. I'm just gonna have to get a couple more wins on the board. I'm going to have to start taking practice sessions more um, seriously. As you can see now, our rivalry breakdown, we're beating Leclerc. And we're, our acclaim level, our personal acclaim, is going to go up to 8 now, which is pretty damn decent. Uh, we're closing in on the acclaim level of 10 now. And we're going to renew our sponsorship. And just get ready for the uh, uh, next race, guys. We're going to do some G-Force training. That'll be good for both of both uh, me and Callum Ilot. I still can't believe that Callum Ilot is not performing. We're the second worst car, and I seem to pull out res results. I don't know how. We're obviously going to change the parts uh, for this ra uh, for next race. We're going to ch uh, change it to Unit 2. Maybe I wouldn't have had problems um it take it takes one thing on the lap to ruin a car and that's what it did on that one i didn't honestly guys i didn't feel anything on that opening lap here as our parts um has not gone through we're gonna have to spend resource points to uh upgrade them so we're on a bit of a back foot really like we could have went so much better if we didn't bog down at the start and like lost them places with that with that engine problem it come back at the end but guys like comment subscribe smack the bell down below thank you for the support and i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye